Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Jess, I love all things fitness and especially active wear. So if you love tips and tricks for living a healthy lifestyle, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. So thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to be doing my monthly favorites. So last month I did my very first favorites video ever and I just love these kind of videos. I love to see what people are enjoying and that's one of the things that I like to bring to my channel is my recommendations. So it only makes sense that I would do my June favorites. Um, so I have some active wear, I have some like beauty stuff, I have some super random stuff. So if you're curious what my favorite things of the month are, then definitely keep watching. So first I'm gonna start with some active wear cause you know me, if you've been around, you know that's my obsession. Um, so I have been partnering with Savvy, I'm a brand ambassador and I have been just wearing as much of their clothes this month as I can so that I'm getting you know, used to their styles, their fits, how things hold up in the wash, how they feel during a workout because I want to be able to bring to you my tip top recommendations. So I'm definitely loving the Femme crop top. This has a sports bra and then it kind of like has a layer that comes down over top. This also comes in black and white. Um, they released a red, which I could not get my hands on. They released kind of like a teal color that I'm hoping is coming in the mail any day now. Um, so really love this. And if you don't like crop tops, you can always wear a shirt over it, but I love this. It's one of the tops that I've reached for multiple times this month and I'm loving how it looks paired with these trainer leggings. So these have a really awesome perforated detail at the bottom of the leg. Um, the back is super flattering. I love the seaming there. And these totally remind me of uh, Lululemon, like the feel of them, the cut of them. The quality is absolutely amazing on those. I'm also loving the Namaste sports bra. I've worn this a couple times as well. Beautiful detail in the back and the peachy pink color is just so pretty. So those are a few of my favorites that I've reached for again and again. Another clothing favorite is these um, shorts that I got from Target. I wish I had these in like a blue denim because I can't stop wearing them. I love the buttons up the front. I love the um, detail, like the hem is just kind of like a cut off hem. They're so comfy. I got them in size six. I think they're like a tiny bit big, but I don't think I could go down. I don't know. You can't try things on right now, so it's tricky, but I'm absolutely loving those. I went today to see if I could get some blue ones, but I didn't see any. Um, but the Target denim shorts right now are just like amazing. Another item that I've been using a lot, um, this is called a sand cloud. So this is a towel that I ordered online. I first saw them on Shark Tank and I don't know, their prints are really cute. It's a very light towel. Um, it's made of Turkish cotton and it rolls up really nice. So if you're going on like a beach type of vacation where you want to bring a towel with you, these are amazing. It also doubles as like a blanket. So if you're going to the park, you can just lay this down. I just love these. I actually have a few of them. This was the first one I ever got um, and it's held up really well. I love the fringe detail. It's just kind of like a mandala print. Um, but I always bring these, like if I travel, I always bring these, you know, if like you don't know for sure if you'll need a towel, it just like folds up really nice. I've also used it as like a blanket on a plane before. So definitely recommend the sand cloud towels. Uh, let's go to this random item. <laughs> this is a mug that my husband got me for my birthday. It says I'm kind of a big deal on YouTube. Just hysterical, like it's obviously a joke. But um, I am way more into social media than him. He doesn't really like to post a lot, but he's been supportive. And so that was just really sweet um, that he gave me that. And it's just cute. So I just have it up in my living room. I don't know, it just like makes me laugh. Let's move on to some beauty favorites. Um, so I actually used up all of this and I need to get another one. 
I was looking for some cleaner beauty products and somebody recommended this Waleda Pampering Body Wash. Um, it's a wild rose scent. I just got this at Whole Foods, but it basically has better ingredients than like, I don't really use, for example, Bath & Body Works anymore because I feel like the ingredients are not super healthy, but this has like a shorter list of ingredients. It doesn't really have any um, like unnatural colors. So I love the smell of this and I actually feel like this lasted a long time. I would say I got, got through a few, probably a couple months with this because I definitely was using it throughout quarantine. Um, and yes, I was showering every day, <laughs> but really, really like this. And then for a uh, sunscreen that I've been loving, the Trader Joe's face and body sunscreen, I've used this for the past couple years. Now that it's like hot and sunny out, um, this is SPF 30. I just love this. Like when I get out of the shower, if I know I'm going to be like going to the beach or going outside, I'll just put it on as if it's a body lotion and I feel like it absorbs really well and it's not like sticky. So highly recommend the Trader Joe's. Um, some beauty products. I know I did a video on my skincare routine, but I didn't do an eye cream. And I've been kind of obsessing about this ginseng. It's the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. It has like a little bit of a pinkish. I'll just show you. Hopefully I don't make a mess. It has like a pinkish color. And then there's like a um, light. I don't know if it's like mica in there or what. Um, but it's just supposed to brighten your under eye. Kind of like last month when I showed the Becca Priming Back Filter. It kind of has that same effect on the under eye. So I really like that under my concealer. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying that a lot. Another obsession. They're not on their little thing anymore, but scrunchies. I got this eight pack of black scrunchies and they're all like a little bit different. It came with two of each kind. So some have like a waffle, some have like a little dot texture. I mean, they're just black scrunchies. But I don't know why scrunchies were like not cool for a while because it's so much more gentle on my hair. I feel like I can put it in a bun and then take it out and like it doesn't leave that like really intense um, mark in my hair and I have really thick, really like long, I just have a lot of hair. Um, and I'm loving these because I feel like it's way more gentle on my hair. So highly recommend. I did see those at Target. I randomly got it at Staples in the clearance section, but they definitely have those at Target or at least my Target. Um, I did a video on native deodorant and I've recently discovered that this is my favorite flavor of the moment. This is the Jasmine and Cherry Blossom. I just love this scent. I ordered it online, so you might have to order it online um, to get this scent. I don't know if they carry this in stores, but it is so good. I'm like a florally kind of gal, so definitely has like a florally scent, but I just absolutely love it. It's so good. Um, another beauty favorite. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm, but this is the color Fussy. Um, so if you have seen my workout videos every day <laughs> i have some gloss on and this is one of the ones i've been reaching for the fenty gloss bomb in fussy which is the pink like there's like a original one that was pink and then they came out with another one so this is like a the later edition of it but i love it it's just so pretty i have it on but i don't think you can really see it like it's really basic like simple I don't know. And then another beauty is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells like chocolate. I've been wearing this anytime I do my makeup, which is not that often. I'm loving this. I've used this. This has been my go-to bronzer for years. I just can't stop wearing it. Um, and I found I've been using... Um, the It Cosmetic CC Cream, and then it just like makes my face look like one dimensional. So I feel like that 
just kind of brings back some shape to my face, but it's not like a crazy contour. I also have a couple kitchen items. Um, this is the Ultima um, electrolyte powder, and this is the watermelon. I love drinking this, um, I mean, throughout the day, really, but particularly in the morning. I work out in the morning, and I feel like that's a good time, so I'll make one of these in a cup and then a, just like a regular ice water, and I feel like this is awesome because I don't eat breakfast but it's really good to like give your body something. So the electrolytes I feel like really helps me. And then I use this Zule little like hand mixer. I use this multiple times per day. I'm obsessed with this um, to mix it into the water. So definitely, I mean, look how cute these are, pink and pink. Um, so definitely recommend I also recommend having a nice journal. This one is from Staples and it says, her greatest power is believing in herself. I have multiple journals kind of like this. Um, I have a couple that are spiral bound and then this one is not. It has a little um, thing, like a little bookmark. But I just like always have a journal around for actual journaling, taking notes on stuff, taking notes on my ideas. So like before I filmed, I just made a list of like my favorites so I would remember what I wanted to include. So highly recommend. You definitely need a journal in your life. And then I want to mention my favorite book of the month is by Gina DeVee. I love Audible, so I listen to it on Audible, and it's called The Audacity to be Queen, and she is all about like being empowered. If you've heard me talk about Katie Boyd and like ambitious and all that, it's like that same vibe of like standing in your power, um, particularly as a woman, um, and not like not being afraid, like being fierce and unapologetic. Um, so definitely if that kind of resonates with you, like you want something to like pump you up and make you feel like empowered, The Audacity to be Queen by Gina DeVee, amazing. And definitely I love the Audible because she reads it and I just don't have time to read books. Um, and then my favorite YouTubers of the month, I, one of those people I like don't want to mention anyone if I can't mention everyone. So if I'm not mentioning you, it doesn't mean that I don't love your channel. Like I'm loving the connections we're making and I'm hesitant to even shout anyone out, but I'm going to. Um, so Kbay Fit, Kayla Walsh, like I feel like we connected early on in this YouTube journey and like I just love her channel. I love like chit chatting with her on Instagram, like on DM. I don't know, she's just so fun and she kind of like has similar content with like hauls and fitness and stuff like that. Um, I'm also loving Ashley Kisner. I shouted her out in my Dalgona coffee recipe video. She's amazing. Um, she does kind of like beauty lifestyle. She's gonna be doing a whole home decor series, which I need to watch because I need help. Um, I love her channel as well and like She's another one that like we just really hit it off. And then last, Jason Macasey. Um, he and I have been going back and forth to um, watching each other's videos and he's just so inspiring. He posts a lot, um, like almost every day. And he's also on kind of like a fitness weight loss journey and I just love watching him. So those are my three favorite YouTubers of the month. And if I didn't mention your channel, I still love you and I am just, you know, shouting out a couple. I can't give you the whole list, but you can always go into my subscription, see who I watch um, if you're interested. So those are my June favorites of the month. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are your favorite things. And I hope you're subscribed. If not, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye.